Kia ora guys, you're watching straight from a hangi pit and I've got Lizzie and Laura in from Rock N Roll, that's E-N-R-O-L, to make sure all you guys vote on September 20th, that's the general election date. So how are you guys? I'm great. Good? Fantastic. Now give us a rundown on your job roles and what Rock N Roll entails. Cool, so I'm the campaign director for Rock and Roll. Um, I basically am trying to bring party back to politics because at the moment it's utterly boring. Boring. And young people aren't voting. And I think that's because we just, it doesn't speak to us. So trying to put, I guess, politics back into, into the hands of young people. And that's pretty much bribing the youth by putting on a whole bunch of parties and gigs uh, where the only way that you can get entrance is you have to make a promise to vote for whoever you want mm. in the general election later this year. Nice. And it works in three parts. It's a campaign that works in three parts and it's already been going for a few weeks. So mm. give us a rundown on how the campaign works. Uh, well, so my name's Lizzie and I'm doing mobilisation with Rock and Roll. So how it starts is a whole bunch of these really exciting gigs everyone comes along to. Um, in order to get to the gig, as Laura said, you have to pledge to vote. Um, and then the gigs will be happening basically right up until the election. Um, but about four weeks out is when we're going to start having one-on-one -on -one conversations. So we've got a huge volunteer force, loads of already engaged, really excited young people. We'll be talking to people on the phones, we'll be knocking on doors, we'll be chatting to our mates at the pubs, at parties, everywhere we go. So really translating these, this big party and this cool idea into what it means and getting people down to the voting polls. Because like what you were saying before, politics to a lot of the youth is just such a boring topic. I find it so boring myself, but um, it's, it's all about revamping it. That's why you've got this campaign, right? And I think for a lot of our audience, they're the kind of people that would get onto Facebook and write a 10 minute rant about society and the world and the bus is late, but they're not the people that would go and actually cast a vote. Mm. And I think what we're trying to do here is make people aware of the fact that their opinion is actually a political one. Mm. And if you actually take that 10 minutes to go down and tick a box, then that action alone can have a tangible impact in the world. And that rant that you put on Facebook could actually then go and do something out there, yeah, yeah. which I think is really cool. So a huge part of what we want to do is kind of demystify the process of what it means to actually vote and try and bridge that connection that currently doesn't seem to be there between what goes on in your everyday life and what happens in Parliament. Because mm. if you drive a car, if you have a student loan, if you drink alcohol, if you want to get a job, all of those things are dictated and regulated by the governing bodies. And unless we stand up and say, hey, this is what we care about, we want to be represented and heard, mm. they're not going to listen to us. Yeah, but there's so many different MPs out there. One has got to um, be similar or the liking to some individual because there's so many different ones. Like there used to be one in Parliament in the Green Party with dreads like yourself. Mm. <laughs> things like that so um, yeah wh wh where can people find details on this where can they go to to um, know more about this campaign cool place is probably the Facebook page because it's most um, frequently updated and that's facebook.com slash rock and roll NZ so as you said earlier it's enroll E-N-R-O-L mm -hmm. um, otherwise the website is www.rockandroll.me Cool. So rockandroll.me, that's R-O-C-K-E-N-R-O-L dot me. Thank you guys so much for Thanks coming for into the you. studio and talking to me. Awesome. And uh, I'm going to let you guys throw to our last track this evening. It's a new one and it's right at the bottom there. Oh, awesome. So to, what we're going to now is American Authors Believer. It's beautiful. 